This is my drill press. We keep it out here in the wood shop because it's a wood shop. Where else would you keep a drill press? Some of you have commented in the past that you've seen these super duper lights that we have that allow us to move them around and illuminate the work that we're working on. Well, today we're going to show you how we made these. Pretty cool, huh? You're probably thinking they're expensive and high tech. You'd be wrong. As you know, we are cheap and lazy here because we like to do things one time and we like to do it at the lowest possible cost so we can do more things. That's kind of how we roll. And these lights are no exception to that policy. They're cheap. They're easy to put together. In fact, it'll take you longer to watch this video than it will for you to install these on your own tools. A lot of us who have drill presses have inexpensive ones that aren't the greatest, but they get the job done. And when the original light bulb burns out, well, you just steal a candelabra bulb from the chandelier inside. A really nice candelabra bulb you stole puts out plenty of light, but unfortunately it's just one light bulb and it's behind where the drill is. And that means that your light is going to cast a shadow the drill itself is going to cast a shadow across your work. Here's that shadow now. It's not too bad, but as the drill descends into the wood, the shadow gets larger. This makes it hard to see your work. And if you're using a drill fence of any sort, especially one of any height like this one, you're actually working in the dark now. There's plenty of light coming from the light bulb. It's just blocked. And I can't really see what I'm doing. Trying to build things in the shop with shadows on your work? You're gonna miss your mark. That's bad, man. It's really bad. Look, this is a wood shop. We make things in here like sawdust, noise, weird paint smells, and occasionally pieces of furniture. Nothing in here is elegant, nor should it be. And so nothing in here should have the word candle in it at all. This is a fine quality light bulb. It has no place in a wood shop. We can better adapt the wood shop to our needs than trying to press this into service. Help me, Obi-Wan Kenobi. You're my only hope. The trick to installing these lights on your tools is these. These are socket converters. This one is for candelabra sockets and this is for standard Edison sockets. They take your socket and turn it into a plug so that you can plug things in instead of a light bulb. Screw one of these into your tool and you suddenly have a receptacle that you can plug something else into. We use these all the time. Here's the one on our Dome of Destiny project. Once you have that converter in the socket to turn it into a receptacle, you're gonna plug in something like this. Remember these, these uh, cube uh, phone chargers that Apple put out so many years ago? You can still get these in large numbers on eBay. You probably have three or four laying around your house, uh, but something like this will do the job. You just need a USB output on it so that you can plug in that USB hub or you can just plug the light in directly. Get one of these. The lights we are using are actually laptop plug-in lights. You plug it into the USB on the side of your laptop and you have a reading light. Okay, we got our reading light. It's about a foot long. You can see the USB port on one side and the array of LEDs on the other. We got quite a few of them because, well, we wanted a color selection and we may use these elsewhere and they were dirt cheap. But for this project, we're only going to use two of them, so all these other lights are going to go back into the storage bin for future use. Two is all we'll need. Next up comes the adapter. This is the candelabra version, which is what our drill uses. Then we have our USB hub. This one has four USB ports, but you could get something different. It doesn't matter. Next, we have the cell phone charger that was salvaged from a junk drawer in the kitchen. And finally, a 14 inch long zip tie. Our collection of parts is now assembled. Okay, you understand all the parts? Great. We've got everything we need to put this together. Let's do it. Now, I'm gonna warn you, this is gonna be a shockingly simple build. The first thing to do is remove the original light if it isn't already gone. Then, just screw the adapter in where the light bulb was. 
Most of the time, the adapter will fit entirely within the bulb socket. In this case, the candelabra is a little longer, but even it is short enough that we can work with it. Next, we bring out our USB hub and secure it to the drill press. In our case, we're lucky enough to be able to rest our USB hub on top of this pipe collar at the top of the column for the drill press. That allows us to use just one zip tie to hold it in place. See that? Super easy, and it's almost like we knew what we were doing. Then it's time to do the electronic side of this project. The USB hub is plugged into the phone charger, and the phone charger is plugged into the adapter. Wiring is now complete. We're going to use two lights on this project, which is fortunate because only the left and right USB outlets on the hub are still accessible. The lights are plugged in and ready to go. As you can see, all of this wiring is safely out of the way of the drill press. All that's left to do is to take a pair of pliers and pull the zip tie down as tight as possible so that those lights will be solid in their mounts. The excess zip tie is trimmed off and the lights are put into their positions for use. The drill press light switch is switched on and hey look, it works! We didn't have to rewire anything. That's actually an improvement over our normal process. We don't have a problem with shadows anymore. See, just like I said, super easy build, super cheap, super awesome. Now when people come and visit your shop, they'll say, wow, those are really cool lights. They move around and everything. And, and you must have gotten those off the internet. They must be really expensive, right? <laughs> but you and I will know that they're wrong. So there you have it, the drill press lights. Super cheap, incredibly easy to install, and adaptable to just about any tool that you want. And they really do change the way you use your tool. You can put the light where you need it and push it out of the way, depending on what you're working on. Just go out on eBay, get you some of these and a couple USB hubs, and you can hook it up to anything you want. Uh, it, and it looks, it looks neat. And if you post pictures, people will send you messages and ask you how you did it. It happened to us. So if you like this sort of thing, uh, and you want to see where we use these things on other projects or the other things we've built out here in the, in the wood shop, hey, subscribe to this channel, ring that bell so that you'll see all the stuff that we're working on. There's four projects in front of you right here that we're building, and we're always building more. So join us. Uh, we'd love to have you. Well, that's it for the lights. See you next time.